Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see about the magical illusion dual letter for 3D printing gifts and something. So, I'm going to show you that. Uh, before that, we can um, usually do that on Tinkercad, but Tinkercad is not working for me. So, I'm going to do that in Photoshop. So, we can extrude, uh, we can't extrude. Um, photos in Fusion 360 so in order to do that we have to make the image into an SVG vector format so we have to make a vector map for that so I am going to make a text layer so like uh, mostly for this letter we have to make sure every letter should be in capital because uh, because uh, for letters like i or j we have a little point above that letter so we can able to print uh, in space so we have to make sure every letter should be captured so this is a uh, just a simple layer so after this we have to make uh, another thing called a select color range and then it is mm, it's selected as default in black color so let it be that and then uh, our letters or file letter and then we came to work path type and work path so we have selected the work path so this is a work path and then select the mask pen tool and then go to windows and choose path then we get a new icon uh, in path layer and then came to uh, layer palette and uh, choose solid color and then black color or any color as you want <coughs> then the icon will be shown as vector format this is the vector format uh, like uh, if we have to add shapes that shape would be in vector format okay. okay this is the vector format so the shape also having a same symbol like this so a little vector icon on the bottom right corner okay then uh, just we have to export as svg format so this is the format uh, we have to hide the previous text layer then export export as svg so this is a layer then we can do that or uh, if i don't want the hot layer then i can just eliminate that just export subs mm -hmm. okay. svg then we have to make another layer for the next layer so we have to edit on the same layer so I'm going to hide these two and it came to this now We can change the text. Mm, what's a font? Okay. Mm, okay. Now the same process has to be repeated. Now color range. Okay. Then go to layer. Um, Create path, we have to select, then 
type type clear hotkey then choose the pen what is this lazo tool and go to windows and create path then go to uh, then choose layer files and uh, make a solid color on black okay then close the text layer and just export exports obj um i will tell you why i have edited the same layer this is due to for position alignment okay then let's go to fusion and the same process has been done with this models this is the same guys hello guys okay then what i have been going to do is just insert um svg choose a plane and select svg and i am going for subs okay we shouldn't be alter the position of this layer so i am going sticking with the layer and then uh, insert a sketch then go to sketch we can do the same thing in a different method then um, insert svg choose file and go for one more okay then just rotate this rotate this one oops Rotate the model. It will align as itself. Okay, finish. Okay. We yeah, are going to extrude these two things. Okay. Selected everything. Just extrude as and new body, and came to another extrusion. This is slightly overload for the mission. Oh god. I have an error. I have an error. So this heart often causes me an error. So make sure the heart should be same the length as the text. That way we won't get the error. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to leave these two things. Cancel. I'm going to cancel this. Cancel the action. Please, please, please. and individual letters ok now I am going to extrude this only oh god um, this might the problem might be changing the font style for each letter I think that might be the problem. Okay. Okay. Then just to go for intersect. Just a single step ahead. Intersect. Then click OK. <coughs> Okay, I have got the words. Now I'm going to separate each and 
I've been using the letter. So I'll be playing and I'm going to draw a diagonal line to get the shape. So I'm choosing and I'm going to extrude one more time with this layer selected and just to drag it out and again intersect okay. fine now we have to eliminate these all layers so there are a lot of bodies in here so I'm choosing every single one You can edit even from this. Uh, thanks for watching. If you find this video useful, make sure to subscribe and uh, if possible, make a share. That will be a huge help. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.